stop buying digital. Here's why you should stop buying digital. I'll explain why to stop buying digital. Um, the reason why is because it's a big scam. Digital is the biggest scam in history. One of the biggest scams in history, including electric vehicles and etc. But digital is the most scummest thing that corporations can do. This is the, probably the reason why they want to go digital. And I'll explain it now for the reason why they want to go digital and get rid of physical movies, games, etc. The reason why, it's because they, they, they want you to own nothing. They want you to own nothing. They don't want you to own that movie. They won't want you to own that game. Wait, wait, you're probably thinking, but I do own that game. I, I bought, bought it on digital. You still, I still own that game, right? No, I'm sorry to say you do not own that game. It's just a lifetime rental until, I, until the license of that game expires. Or until that game gets revoked by the company off of the store. Because when it gets, the license gets revoked, the game goes bye-bye in your library and the store. Because the license gets revoked from the library, that means it will get revoked from your, uh, like, you know, <laughs> ah, I'm screwing up. The license gets revoked from the store, it gets revoked from your library. So it takes away that game from your library that you bought. More likely you paid a high price to rent for life. Until they re re revoke it. That's the thing. You don't know when they're going to revoke it. But my reason. I think this is the reason why they're going to try to make everything. And that's even with movies, etc. This is my reason. I think why they want to make things digital. And replace physical. First of all, they don't want you to own jack shit. In the future. They don't want you to own nothing. That's their plan. They want you to own nothing. They want... They want to take your money, but they don't want you to own it. Yeah, you may own it at the time being, but it's just a rental. An expensive rental. Then eventually, down the line, when that game has been out for a while, they're going to revoke the license. Like They're going to be all involved plan-wise. Revoke the license from the store. The game goes bye-bye. And then later on down the road... They'll put the game back on. So technically it's getting revoked from your library. From the store. And then. When they renew the license again. To put it back on there. Then you. You the person. The, the customer. From that digital. Has to rebuy that game. Or movie. Or whatever it is digitally. You would have to rebuy it. Computer is already gone for digital. Like, that, that, I don't know. Like, the gamers of the PC gamers, let that happen. But do you want that to happen to you with the console? I mean, PC gamers can still fight and get, get physical copies back for PC gaming. If they really, truly want to own a game. Because you don't own that game, PC gamers, that are on Steam. Because if that game gets revoked from Steam one day... It's going to get revoked from your library. Because the license is gone from the store. So it would be gone from your library. You technically don't own that game. Like, same with me. I have digital games there. I don't own those games. They're, they're not mine. They're just a lifetime rental until they revoke the license. And I bet you that's their plan eventually. When everything is digital, even consoles, that's what they're going to do probably. 100%. Because that seems like the most corporate greedy asshole that a corporate would do and that's why they wanted digital just to rip you all off so you won't own nothing you give them your money but you don't own it and then later on they're gonna take off that game off the store then late then a few months later or whatever they will re-put it back on there so you the customer has to rebuy that because when they put that back on there they're going to charge you for that. They're not going to give you that game back. Because that's what corporations would do. Greedy assholes that only think of themselves. And have money greedy, money hunger thing. Keep buying physical. Keep physical alive. 
because physical, you own it. And that's why you shouldn't have, games shouldn't have, be live service, single player games. Because that's another way for disc wise to get their gate, um, you know, ripping you off in a way. That's why live service is such a bad thing. Because if the servers go out, this is disc or digital, then you can't play that game, even if you have a disc. Because it was online and you need a server to play it on. And they don't have servers for it because they shut them down. And that's why there should be, for every single game that's out there, there should be an offline mode for single player. There should be an offline mode, no matter what. I'm just saying, that's for like, that's for both digital and disc for the online, you know, the whole online crap stuff. It's just another way to rip you off and making you not own that game. Like, you will own it, but when the servers go by, you can't play that game ever again. You can't play a single player game ever again, though it's only a single player game, but it's only, uh, on, but it's always online because of the store and other thing. And if they put a, a offline mode to it, I'm just saying it's a scam. Even with those online things, it's a scam. Digital's a scam. It's just a scam. Quit buying digital. Go buy physical. Quit being lazy and actually go to the store and buy physical. And your parents, if your kids want a game, literally, it's not hard to drive them to the store. Or, or kids, you can walk to the store if you are of age like you know if you're not too young but for those parents to have like if your kids are too young to walk far distance you should drive them quit being lazy and give them a ride there it's not hard you just get up go get in your car start it do it for your kid it's keeping your kids safe because you never know, you're like a little kid walking to a game store. No, they're going to get hurt. But digital is going to rip you off even more, parents. It's a scam. I'm just saying for everyone, don't stop it. Just stop buying digital. I know I'm repeating myself, but I feel like I'm not getting it out there into your heads. The reason why buying digital is so bad and such a scammy move. Because they can revoke the lot. Like they could have a plan eventually just going digital and there's like no physical copies to say. i'm just okay here's the future of just only digital movies digital oh movie license gets revoked from the digital box or whatever it is or consoles or whatever poof gone that you can't watch that movie ever again Oh, then they put it back out. Then you have to rebuy that movie. Oh, they're pretty much saying, F you, give me money. Again. And they're laughing at you. Saying, ha, 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 you guys don't own this, you stupid morons, they probably are thinking. You need a fight before it gets out of hand. And I'm warning you now, if you don't want to believe me now, and when the time that digital does happen, like everything, like no physical copies, like goes disappear. And then when that time does happen, when games do get revoked and make you re have to rebuy it, well, you better do something about it then, because you can do something about it. It's called stop buying their games. Stop, just stop, because you don't own it. And it's just a scam. They just want your money, but they don't want you to own anything. I'm just putting that out there. Hopefully you listen to my warning, because it probably will be a thing. Because that sounds like what corporation asshole, greedy rich people would do. They don't give a shit about your happiness. They only care about their happiness. And their money. And their greediness. Like, literally, stop it. Go to the game store. Buy it. It's it's a better experience. Definitely in those midnight launches, all oh, that was an experience that none of these kids nowadays will never experience. Actually, you can still experience. 
That's why they stopped doing midnight releases at GameStop and stuff. Because no one goes to them. Because they always buy digital chat. And you own your games when you buy single player games that are digital. And, and it looks so much better when you have a collection of stacked games that you can share with your friends and stuff. Digital, you can't share with your friends. Oh, they have all, you can share, go, no, yeah, you can do that, but it doesn't matter. You can share your games with one person. Oh, oh yeah, that, 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 like, share all your games with one person, not multiple people. Because they wouldn't allow that. But when you have physical, you can let your friends borrow that game. And then you get it back. And then you can let someone else borrow it. And then it carries on. But digital. If the license gets revoked, you can say goodbye to that game in your library. And then when they put it back on again, when it gets signed on again or whatever, for some, you're going to re have to rebuy that game. I'm just giving you the warning now. So you can stop things being come digital. And that's even with movies and stuff. They want it to go to digital so they can just take your money and not make you own anything. They Literally, in the future, they want you to own nothing. They don't want you to own games. They don't want you to own movies. They just want to take your money and rip you off and scam you. I'm just putting this out there. And if you want to listen, awesome. If you don't, then you're screwing the gamers over and you're screwing yourself over and you're letting these company corporate assholes win. Because I'm 100% that's their plan. So they can revoke license games from when it is fully digital. Like if we, and I hope it doesn't come to that. But when it does go fully digital, when games get revoked and then later on put back on then they're going to make you have to pay for it they wouldn't put it back in your library no they will literally force you to have to buy that game again literally that's their plan i wouldn't doubt it that sounds like corporate assholes moves to steal your money it's a scam digital is the biggest scam i i'm saying it's up to you i give the warning because how much you want to bet that will happen listen or don't listen it's up to you but I would listen, but again, it's up to you. If you want to own your games and feel like you actually own something, that's the physical is the way to do it. Digital isn't because you don't technically own that game. If you have thousands of games digitally, you don't own those thousands of games. You're just renting them until they revoke the license, until they pull this scheme, scam, and and revoke the license, then put the license back on, then you have to rebuy it again. I wouldn't doubt that's their plan, company's plans, these corporate assholes. They don't care about your happiness. They don't want you to be happy. They want you to be miserable. That's why games are coming out to be shit. And that's why smaller companies are better. But eventually those small companies will get corrupted and turn into, like, let money get to their head and stuff when they have a successful game but anyways just a warning y'all but again you should just stick with physical it's a better way to go anyways peace out